Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we are doing some Stranger Things hairstyles. Did y'all know there were 200 plus perms done for season three of Stranger Things? That's insane. <laughs> We're not gonna be perming our hair today. <laughs> because season three just came out and it was amazing, I figured for Halloween this year, a lot of you guys might wanna dress up as characters from Stranger Things season three. So we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna show you a bunch of the characters. A lot of them can be couples costumes or friends costumes or group costumes. It's a good time. I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps support my channel and, you know, lets me know what kind of content to keep making. And if you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa, where I teach you all kinds of stuff to do with your hair. <laughs> but that being said, let's teach you guys all about Stranger Things Season 3's hair. And now for my favorite character of Season 3, Robin. So Robin has some very distinct waves and it really looks like they're done with a flat iron. Even though that wasn't true to the 80s, we're doing it today. You're gonna section your hair and clip the top part up and we're gonna start with the bottom. And to make these flat iron waves, you're essentially going to rock your iron back and forth through the hair, rotating it away from your face and sliding and then toward your face and sliding. And that's gonna help create this kind of S wave, like so. And her hair all seems to kind of flow the same way. So you're gonna keep similarly rotating your iron on each section of hair. And I feel like these ends are just a little more bumped under than I want. So I'm gonna run the flat iron over them. And now we keep going. Okay, that's the base. Let's keep going. Now her hair is a lot shorter than mine, like it's up to here. And it, I think, would look cutest on that short of hair. But we're gonna make it work on my lob as well. Just know if your hair is shorter, you gotta leg up. All right, center part, and here we go. Finishing it out. For the top, I found that I liked going under first and then over. I just liked where that made the wave fall on my face, but it's up to you. You can play around and see what looks best for you. But in general, this is the hairstyle. I'm gonna add in some texturizing spray and scrunch a little bit and she's done. And there you go, that's how to get Robin's waves. These are also very trendy right now. So even if you're not dressing up as her for Halloween, I would try out this method, cause it's great. And now let's do both Max and Eleven. With them being the true BFFs that they are, their hairstyles actually are fairly similar. So we're gonna do them together here. We're gonna talk about the texture and then how to put them up. Let's go. Both Max and Eleven have very natural looking hair going on and Alara's hair has a natural wave to it. So I thought we could talk about how to air dry in that natural wave for Max. That's literally the easiest way to do this costume. It's the least maintenance hair you're gonna have it. to do. So let's talk about it. So your hair has already been washed, detangled, and leave-in conditionered. Yes. Another good thing to add in is a curl defining cream. <laughs> this is the Amika Curl Corpse. Even if you don't have curly hair, it still does the same thing. It's typically very moisture rich, helps add definition. So you rake this into the hair from kind of roots to ends, and then we can scrunch, but I'm also gonna scrunch with a gel. And then I'm gonna go in with the Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls, which is my favorite scrunching gel. And then to dry, you're gonna use a diffuser to scrunch the hair up and hold it while it dries. So that's how you can utilize your natural wave. If your hair is naturally straight like mine, here's how you can fake it. First, keep protected. Next, three quarter inch curling wand, curling the hair every which way. So natural waves don't follow any kind of pattern. They don't all go away from your face. They don't all start at the same height. They don't all go the same distance down your hair. So basically, just go nuts. <laughs> if you do want it to look a little prettier, I would say alternate the directions back and forth and get a little bit more of a uniform wave, but if you want it to look more natural, again, go nuts. <laughs> and I'm running my fingers through each section after the curls have been finished, that way we're breaking them up and they're looking a little bit more natural as well. Thank you. 
At this point, I feel like we're pretty close, but she has both texturized and defined waves. Texture in the sense that they're a little bit bigger and fluffier, defined in the sense that you can really see individual pieces. It looks like it's been scrunched a little bit. So for the texture, I'm going to use the Kristen S Dry Working Texture Spray, and then I'm going to scrunch in with more of that Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. So there are some more natural waves a la Hawkins. Now we just have to do the two signature hairstyles that go with these outfits. So for Max, all the hair just goes up into a ponytail. You secure it with scrunchies. If you want to loosen any baby hairs, you can. That's her hairstyle. That's it. <laughs> Then for 11, you pull your hair into a half up hairstyle, basically going diagonally back from the ears. And then if you want, you can add in a little bit of gel before you secure it with a scrunchie. She definitely had more of a gelled look, so if you want to be super accurate, you can, or you can just go with whatever looks best on you. And there you go, those are both Max and Eleven's hair from season three. They're very easy, totally play off of natural texture, and you can obviously wear this on its own or with a friend if you want a partner costume. I might look surprisingly 2019 right now because I am not doing this costume. This is a couple's costume. We are doing Joyce and Hopper, and because it's a couple's costume, I decided to get my sister Anna Laura and her husband Scott in on the action to complete this costume. We're gonna talk about how to get Joyce's hair and Hopper's hair and mustache. Let's do it. So Joyce has kind of natural waves and bangs. So on Anna, we're gonna be adding in some clip-in bangs and then doing the waves. We're gonna get into more detail on the bangs when we talk about Nancy, but right now, let's just focus on putting them on and getting into Joyce's hair. Do we like my Try Guys merch, by the way? Well, you saw I got to be in a t-shirt today and you couldn't. I couldn't resist. <laughs> so, center part, clip in the bangs, and then you style the bangs because these are not yet styled. If you have purchased human hair bangs, you can just heat style them. The synthetic ones, they're gonna be pretty much in whatever style they come out of the bag in. <laughs> have fun. All right, now let's reposition them a skosh higher. She kind of like doesn't have eyebrows, so like yeah. right there. So now, Joyce has pretty much natural looking waves. I'm assuming her character maybe like has a perm, had a perm, has wavy hair, maybe puts mousse in it. So we're gonna create that kind of a look. I'm gonna have you do one inch curls, alternating toward and away from your face okay. on a wand, slightly bigger sections. Yeah, so I'm going through and doing like really random pieces a little bit straighter. And if you are styling bangs with the straightener, why not? It Joyce. I love it. And then we're just gonna throw all the texturizing spray in so that you can look like you've been running through forests and- Riding in convertibles. And calming down Crazy, angry cops. All right, we're gonna finish off this can of texturizing spray. All right, let me grab you some her spray. IGK Down and Out Dirty Spray. Just for a little bit more texture. It Joyce. Oh, I love it. Hey. Oh, hey, my hair is curled now, and it's time for Hopper, AKA Anna's husband, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hello. <laughs> Aren't you guys looking into this? <laughs> oh, you tell me, you tell me at this thing the whole You're time. You're being a really good sport, <laughs> dude. Thanks for this. So basically what I was thinking is instead of trying to do an elaborate tutorial for hair on a dude and making them sit through that, we're just gonna keep it simple. Did you and or Anna Laura round brush your hair this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She definitely brushed it. Analar round brushed it. Yeah, cool. It looks great. So anything that's kind of like curled back from the face, that's gonna be ideal. And then you're just gonna take a little bit of gel and rake it back through there, which is what I'm gonna do now. I'm using the Amica Heist. All right, so I've got like a two piece sized amount here, running it through my fingers, and then we're gonna rake it through your hair. Yeah. Go for it. You're being such a good sport. Thank you so very much. Why are you making that face though? <laughs> he also makes uh, that face all the time. <laughs> I don't know. I always feel like it's gonna hurt whatever's happening in my hair. Because Hopper's hair is kind of like oily and jelly. You could really hype that up, but I'm not gonna because I think like let's keep it like a little bit cute, you know? So now, okay, so now we have the best part. Oh boy. The mustache. <laughs> Have you ever grown a mustache? I have, it doesn't look good. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I picked this one up from a store called Friends, which is like a professional beauty store, but I'm gonna scope out Amazon and find some that you guys can pick out if you want. So 
Basically, this is on kind of like a lace base, and we're gonna hold this up and see how it fits on you. Fits pretty well, except the bottom here just looks so fake. So what I'm gonna do is take some scissors and point cut into it to make it look a little bit more realistic. It's also gonna shorten it a little bit, which will fit his top lip a little better. So, spirit gum, you apply to the skin, and then you have to tap to activate it, and then it will get sticky, and you can stick whatever you need to to the spirit gum. So, I'm gonna start with the center, and then work my way out, that way, I can get it where it needs to be here, and then I can position the sides more accurately to his face shape. What does it dry Let's just as? Like throw a, this. Like a glue? Yeah, it's a glue. Like, wait, 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 Are that... you concerned by this? Yeah. <laughs> so have you watched, you know, Game of Thrones? Yeah. This is what they use to put the beards on the dudes that don't have the beards. Nice. Okay. Basically Game of Thrones after Yeah, basically an extra. All right, we're gonna do one more layer just to get nice. a little bit stickier. This makes sure that you'll actually hold on to your mustache all night and uh, not end up with like half of it coming off into your drink halfway through. All right, and now I'm gonna relax the face. All right, so now you cut this and you just have little wings. This part's not glued on at all, but this part is. So now we can kind of like work around and decide like how high or low you want those to be. Ah. Within reason, starting on the inside also gives you the ability to uh, cut the sides if you need to. After a quick little trim, we are ready for more. And uh, I think that is your hopper transition. How you feeling? Feel good, I feel like I have a mustache on. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a super fun costume for this year. It's great for couples. It's easy. You probably own a flannel and tee and can find a Hawaiian shirt or in Scott's case, already own one. So, you know, throw in some waves and a mustache and you're good to go. And for our favorite super sleuth, we've got Nancy. So the fun thing about Nancy this season is that she has bangs. And if you don't have bangs, I want to give you a little rundown on how you can use fake ones. First of all, I recommend picking human hair over synthetic if possible, it's more stylable. But second, if you're doing something like this, just a little tiny bang piece like this is all you need. It's one little clip, super easy. If you want a character like Joyce, you might want like a full triangle bang. But when they come out of the packaging, they're not always perfect. So here's like a quick little rundown on what you can do, okay? Okay, let's go. First, you'll probably have to trim them. I recommend getting them on exactly like you want and trimming just a little piece, either in the middle or on one side, and getting that to the length that you want, and then using that as a guide for everything else. If you have triangle bangs, the stuff at the top of the triangle is meant to be brushed down the sides, like it's part of your part, not like it's part of the bangs. Once you have that, you can be done, but if you need to mess with the color at all, you can do a couple things. First of all, for mine, I needed to use some purple shampoo to make it blend with my blonde better. And then I needed to root them, which I did by using some gray cover spray right on the roots of the bangs so that it would blend with my rooted hairstyle. And once that was done, the bangs were ready to go. And to be fair, you don't have to do bangs for these characters. I just like to add in the option if you wanna go the extra mile. But that said, let's get these curls in and then we'll put this little guy in. My little mustache bangs. Oh. Okay, first things first, heat protectant. This is the Kenra Heat Block. For Nancy's curls, they do need to be a little bit more tight and robust, so I'm going to use a three quarter inch curling wand and I'm going to clip the curls up to cool as I go. If your hair holds a curl really well, you don't have to do that step and you can start from the bottom and work up. Um, hi, Kaylee from the future here. Uh, just note, uh, you can follow all these steps, but I actually recommend doing it with a smaller iron because I had to go back and recurl my hair because it was not tight enough. Okay, okay, keep going. But first I have my nice deep side part. I'm gonna start with this rectangle on top and I'm just gonna curl that away from the face. And then you slide the curling iron out, leaving this curled and clip it or pin it to cool. And now we're just gonna keep doing that through this top rectangle section. Now section the hair in front of your ears on either side and we're gonna curl that with the iron horizontally going toward the face. I know, toward the face, who am I? And of course, we're gonna continue clipping those to cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know you're a hair nerd when this just makes you happy. Okay, I feel like I need to say at this point, if you're starting to feel like this is way too much and you wanna click out, hold on. <laughs> because you can follow these exact steps and not have to clip stuff up. I just like to give you guys all the extra information so you can be as extra as you want to be. Extra is a spectrum. Just find yourself where you wanna be. I'm usually at the most, so <laughs> base all of your expectations on that. 
You don't have to do all of these steps. I just like to give you the option if you want, okay? Okay, and now for the back, we're gonna curl in alternating rows, which means for one row, you're gonna curl everything to the right. For the next row, you're gonna curl everything to the left and so on and so forth. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that from the bottom up because I feel like that's the easiest way to get rows going and like knowing what you're doing. And now that everything is cool, we get to do the brush out, which is going to require a handy dandy comb and or teasing comb in this situation. We're gonna start in the back and let down a row at a time. And as we do, we're going to tease it because even though Nancy's hair isn't super big, it is voluminous and we want to recreate that. So you kind of get it, we're almost there. I'm not gonna brush through the curls this time. We're just gonna smooth over the top of the teasing to make it look as normal as possible. And now we wanna fix the ends. They probably look a little frizzy, they might look a little funny. I'm just gonna take a little bit of pomade lightly over my fingers, like there's just kind of a trace amount. And I'm gonna run the curls through my fingers to make sure that the ends are popping and looking good. You might wanna separate some curls here and there and just overall really make the ends look nice and curled and 80s. And there we go, we have the back done. Now let's move on to the front. Just gonna let everything down. And by everything, I mean I'm gonna start with the sides. So she has this massive side part and there's not a clear parting line, but this part does kind of go back, this part kind of comes forward, she's got the bangs over the top. So I'm gonna start by teasing the hair on the shallow side in vertical sections and then I'm going to smooth it back. And this side just comes down I actually feel like I might not need to tease it. I'm just running my fingers through to break up the curls a little bit, but I think it's good. We're coming back for this guy, don't worry. <laughs> then for back here, basically we can let these guys just down. And it's this front bit that we get to get a little crazy with. Go ahead and take it down. All right, now, before we get with the flip and swoop and all that, we have to put our bangs in. So, I'm just gonna take our little piece here, gonna wiggle it on in and clip it. And now, take this section up here and we tease. Direct it a little forward like a unicorn horn, flip it on back and let it cascade over. I'm gonna smooth over the top. And then some of this extra is gonna come over as well. And then for this side, we're actually gonna like gently rake through and kind of twist and pin right back here. And that's why we have the teasing in there is to keep this full because we have to match all of that. <laughs> so I'm picking up this back section of hair, and I'm laying this down right under it. Pin that. And now let's just finesse the bangs a little bit. And then we hairspray. A lot. <laughs> so there are Nancy's curls and bangs. I have to say with the blonde hair, I look a little bit like Mrs. Wheeler, but <laughs> if you imagine this on a brunette with big old doe eyes, it's Nancy. <laughs> and here it is if you don't want to do the bangs. I think in a couple of the scenes she has them like swept back, right? So we can get away with that and spray them. She does kind of wear the bangs down and push back depending on the scene. So if you like the bangs, wear the bangs. If you don't, don't. It's that easy. <laughs> and those were my hairstyles for the characters of Stranger Things season three. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below which character was your favorite this season and why. I'm very curious. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like button to help support my channel. If you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa. And all of y'all need to hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today. Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Bum, 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 bum. Probably shouldn't be waving this around without context. I just realized the pockets on this costume are fake and I feel clowned. My phone does not recognize me. <laughs> Claudia Slewski on my shirt, simply nail logical on my fingers. Queens repping queens.